my name's Mel Wardle Woodend and I'm the Poet Laureate of Staffordshire. I've been commissioned to write a poem for Staffordshire Day and I wanted to think about all of the different aspects, or at least some of the different aspects of the county. Um, so I've tried to include uh, quite a variation of the landscapes and the industry and the accents um, and the different, the different kind of feelings to the region um, and textures. So this poem is called Sandstone and Clay. And it's an acrostic poem which spells out the word Staffordshire down the left hand side. Some say there is no accent in Stafford. So travel ten miles south to submerge yourself in broad Cannock and black country accents and dialects. Take the send seventeen miles north where the potter's accent rolls softly off tongues as smooth and streamlined as the edges of Port Merion Vase. And you'll be intrigued by the mystery in these voices of so much history to resurrect. Frequent the follies, landscapes and grounds of Malcop, Biddulph Grange or Shugborough Estate. Explore a ruined castle in the county town or dine at the Swan, where Dickens disparagingly once stayed. Find yourself lost in the wilds, climb gritstone roaches in the Staffordshire peaks, ride bikes along reclaimed railway tracks or explore the Staffordshire moors, on Cannock Chase, breathe in the scent of dewy pines. Hear a woodpecker at work and watch the sun rise over valleys as sleepy animals awake. Damp cuckoo spit idles around ankles on a brisk morning walk and clay puddles splash sticky mud on Wellington boots. Sedimentary sandstone at the southern tip of the county glows fiery red where hill forts, rock caves and houses are, are deeply carved in the cliffs at Kinveredge. I could talk for hours about our county, explore the fields of coal and all the villages and towns, recall rural stories from farmers and from the miners who worked underground. Except the only phrase that remains really is just to say, Staffordshire is home.